Welcome, welcome. I'm, I'm happy you're here. I'm Jeff Hicks, and I guide seekers inward using thoughts, feelings, behaviors as doorways. We open up to greater knowing. So we live life with greater clarity, congruence, and peace. This is Simple Steps to Peace. I've lost the number. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're somewhere in the 20s. But today we are going to focus on the bedrock of peace. And the quote that I'm basing <laughs> this live stream on today is from a guy who's got, or who had, he's uh, passed now, an incredible name. I've got to move forward here and read it. Martin Farquhar Tupper. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Martin Farquhar Tupper. And he said, well-timed silence hath more eloquence than speech. I remember um, back in the 80s and I think early 90s, I was an outside salesman. I was calling on uh, people who um, had trucks and I was selling them the bodies and the stuff that you would attach to trucks. So I spent a lot of time in the car and I spent a lot of time listening to the radio. Yeah, music, talk radio, the radio was always going. And one day I was wondering, well, huh, this is interesting. I just automatically turn the radio on every time I get in this car. What if I left the radio off? And I noticed something really interesting. I would leave the radio off, I would set that intention and it would happen. And then I'd be driving down the road and then suddenly I would notice that my hand was going towards the radio to turn it on without my conscious awareness. It was really weird. It was like there was something within me that was moving to turn that radio on. So I used that to wake up, to notice, hey, um, there's a part of me that isn't comfortable with silence. And every time I noticed my hand going towards the radio, even when it got right to the knob, I said, I am going to focus on the silence. We use a lot of our electronics today, maybe not the radio, but it may be something else for you to not hear, to not be in the silence. We use sounds to distract us from silence. Now, why is this important? I'm going to throw another quote at you. Thanks, Tim Ferriss. He uh, just quoted Terrence McKenna. Kind of a cool cat. Terrence McKenna said, nature is not mute. It is man who is deaf. And it's not that we're deaf. It's that we fill our lives with sounds, internal, external, so that we're not hearing what nature is offering us. So how do we make this practical? Notice the sounds that you fill your life with, your day-to-day -day living with. Could be the radio, could be your uh, music on your phone. It could, it could be a television. Everybody knows someone who's got the television blaring all the time. Just stop and notice. 
turn off all those sounds out there and notice the silence. Notice how where there is this silence, our mind often tries to fill this space. Notice this. Allow it and then turn back to the silence. I invite you to notice the sounds that you create in your living to avoid the silence and just turn them off for a little while. Stay present, noticing what happens. Why is this important? Because in the silence, when we're not trying to fill our perceptions up with other stuff, you may notice the peace that is in, around, and throughout all. It has no sound. It allows all sounds, but it has no sound, no form, no boundary of its own. It just is. And when we are aware of this piece, we can notice how we create within it. And I invite you to step into this piece now. The peace that passes understanding. It has no boundaries. It has no size or shape. It just is the peace that is in, around, and throughout all. And once you notice this piece within the silence, you may notice that it's still there even when other sounds are happening. And I invite you as you go through your day, encountering people, experiences, sensations, situations, maybe some that are a little stressful, you be this peace within that time, that space. And notice how this peace changes things. I do hope this serves you. Please, hit the like button, share this with a friend who may need some silence in their life. If I can be of any assistance, please message me on this page, Jeff Hicks here. And I will talk with you tomorrow.